Hello and welcome to Mr. Erling and Tasia's Server World Tour. We'd like to show you around to the things we have built and show them off to those people on YouTube. So here we go. Hello and welcome. This is our multiplayer world. It's our own personal server. <laughs> uh, that's my friend Tasia. <laughs> I'm jumping on the bed. She's... Bad. She's rowdy, as you can see. This is basically our uh, world that we created and uh, is our own. And everything you see here is uh, basically where we started in the game of Minecraft. So nice. So it has a little attached greenhouse in our little little I room. I guess you could say. It's very modest, but this is what we started with. And oh, back when bread was the main food source, right? Yeah. It was like pigs and bread, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> I thought it was cool you could, like, punch wheat and make... And then replant it, and then make bread. It's all novelty. And so here's the the back of it. This is before glass panels too, so you had to use the blocks. Yeah. It would have been nice with panels, but the, the blocks look good too. So our world is started in 1.6 or before that. So objective here is we're going to show you around, uh, do a little tour of our of our place, and uh, um, introduce you to the um, what we've created. So. From here, we have a mine shaft, and then also this courtyard, which came later. But it's a uh, an area where it's like a gathering place. It has uh, a mob trap, um, two different styles in one, plus a record machine. Uh, I'll go into more detail about that later. But let's go see what we've built together since then. Here's a little paddock we have. It's behind my storage room that we built much later in Minecraft, but now it's a little gathering area for our animals. Um, yeah. But it's not anymore. <laughs> it's part of one building here. Um, the baby cow is like in my way. <laughs> Just push him out of the way. So this building here was basically part of a kind of a network tunnel. Um, that we had going between the buildings and uh, it's all uh, was initially Tage's creation and it was boring but now it's so much better look at this the storage room very organized we had the uh, little tunnel here <laughs> but the tunnel's gone but the sign's still there let's see and here's the tunnel that goes between the two places Why am I showing the tunnel? It's I'll just say it's over there. <laughs> oh wow. That was really lame. Let's edit that out. Let's edit this out. <laughs> okay, the storage room. Uh we have it's the iron like a neat and tidy storage room. Iron golem. Bob. <laughs> it could be Bob. I don't know. Uh don't have too many chests for like what some people set up in a storage room, but uh, I don't collect overly much amount of material at a time, so I kind of have it separated the way I like. Uh, the ones back here have armor and weapons, basically, or just crud. It's the only good item in there. <laughs> a nice iron helmet with aqua affinity. Tinder here. And then I was on a rampage to try to uh, enchant some good fall protection boots and it took me about several tries we have an enderman farm I'll show you sometime in the future uh, so that's where all that came from and our coal and wood supply which is both always getting pretty low and then right behind Tasia mm -hmm. da, 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 is our furnaces six, six furnaces because mm -hmm. I like to multitask Over in this part of the building, 
We have our uh, brewing stands. One, two, three, four, five. Five of them plus what's in the chests here. Some ingredients and extra potions. And uh, drink that. Oh, okay. So I can keep up to you. Did I pick it up? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm always making swiftness potions because they're nice to have around. And now you're going to have green swirlies everywhere. I toss it. This here is our enchantment room. A little tiny one, but uh, it's inspired by Etho. Yes, Isn't we are fans of Etho. By Etho. Well, true. <laughs> right. Enchanting room. So basically, you can set the enchanting level. This is the maximum level right now. Um, so I would go up to 45 or 50. And if you hit the buttons, they all go off one by one. I think it's very well designed. I like it. And here's the minimum enchant. Which is probably around uh, level 8 to 5 in that range. But if you want uh, even lower level enchants, we have this other lonely enchanting table here for your measly level 1 enchants. Ooh, efficiency. Bob's looking at me in a strange way, looking uncomfortable. I don't like him. He's always like that. He's brooding. He's very broody. Under the storage room is like a natural cave. I have a tunnel for my minecart system, which I'll ex probably explain later sometime. And it's a natural water cavern that I just incorporated part of our storage room, so I thought it was pretty cute and interesting. Very cute. It's kind of dark down here. Uh, oh, mm, there. Oh, that was nice. That's better. Okay, let's uh, keep going. Let's follow the tunnel to the cactus fort and talk about that on the way. And that's you. So here's our linking tunnels. Cactus fort was our, I guess you could say, second major um, build that we did together mm -hmm. as uh, as a group. As a team. Now I had uh, basically what was in here is a uh, a cactus kind of trap for for uh, the the uh, non-hostile like cows and chickens and pigs, but now it doesn't serve any purpose. So I took the cactus out and then made the water flow basically uphill using the signs and stairs, and now it's basically. Uh, I call it a cow wash. <laughs> uh, there's streams up above and cows like walk around and ra randomly fall into the pits and then they get washed down into here and then they'll go through the tunnel you know, getting squeaky clean all along the way. And then we go over here and that's where they are. Except with the new mob AI they're so smart they're getting like out of here somehow and I don't have a clue where they're escaping from. Yeah they're annoyingly smart now. So I have to increase the size of the cliff here so they're not hey don't push me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and uh well I want to go down the cow wash. Oh uh, sure let's push the cow into the cow wash and watch him go through. Yeah. Get in there buddy. You should go down here. Do you got any more way. wheat? Uh, oh, I do, actually. He's I resistant to the idea of going in here. I don't blame him, though. Oh, he, it's tricky. Huh? Trixie cow. Say Trixie? Yeah. <laughs> Get. Come here, cow. Okay. Come on. He's going to do it. You gotta. Come on. So <laughs> we're following the cow in the cow wash. Yeah, it serves no purpose. It doesn't oh, kill it. them, and just they just ha have a happy oh, ride through it. And there you go. I guess it'll just follow me down here if I go down too. 
that tree's coming in the way. Let's see what Tage is doing up here. This is fun. Hey, you have the cow following you. Yeah, because I got the milk. Oh, he's not in the... Oh. What? I thought... Oh, okay. Come on. Come on in. Oh, there we go. We'll get clean together. Whoa. That's a dirty cow. Hey, oh, he's you? coming. He's coming. The other one's coming, too. There he goes. Okay, let's go watch them come out. Oh, I'm already out. Cow's still coming. Oh, there's two. Oh, yeah. That's right, there was another one, too. Oh, my God, so pretty. There he is. Hey, you need, like, a cow salon, and you can have, like, little bows and stuff. Oh, a little baby cow. That's what happens at the cow wash. I like that. That's, that's fun, man. Yeah. Okay. How do you get out of here, though? You kind of have to jump over the wall here because they're so darn smart now. Okay. Jump over this way. I just put a door down there. Right, that's the simple way to do it. Oh, I'm fighting against the current. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh. Oof. Okay. Way to go, Tasia. So, cactus fort. I thought this was pretty impressive when we first made it. Maybe not so much now, but... It's still kind of neat. We like this place. I use this as my kind of second storage area for my special things I like to keep. And We had such a bad mob problem at the beginning that we didn't know what to do. So we spiders, just... Spiders, yeah. We had spiders and creepers and zombies coming around everywhere. So we got a little anal about uh, surrounding the place with all these... Cactuses. Yeah, but hence the name, right? Would be the cactus port without the. Yeah. Cacti. Cacti. Whatever that is, plural. Plural cactus. They have this nice little entrance here. Actually, I hate cactus now because of you know, if you have dogs or wolves or whatever, they, they die on them. And Fort I cactus. Just, I just find them awkward. Oh, I have a little wheat farm beside it. I probably never come here to uh, harvest it. Oh yeah, and this is before there were gates, right? So you had a, a door there. Fort Cactus. Um, this is our doorbell. <laughs> I like it. It's good. Composed by you, Erling. I just put some random notes together. Um, so we have kind of our crafting area at the basement. It's a little claustrophobic since we have one high ceiling. Yeah. But, uh... Don't raise your hands. <laughs> over here, second level. It's got, like, a brick outline. Um, w windows and torches and wood. And then we got, uh... I guess you've never seen my hidden chest, have you? Yeah, I'm just thinking, what's going on with the staircase here? I'm looking at it. <laughs> and then I saw the chest on this side, so how did you always just come over here and jump you up? You kind of have to go like this, and then you can click on it. Mm. <laughs> oh, you have to go on the other side. It's, oh. yeah. It's Look, my there's a cake right here, a half-eaten cake, just right there. Huh. It's not important. Messy. Very messy. It's very not important. This is hard to get to. Am I, am I retarded or something? No. 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 Well, you, you can kind of, like, st stand here and then click in the corner under there and you can oh, okay. get to it. Oh, wow. Where did you get all these diamonds? I've just been hoarding them. Oh, if I had only known I would have gotten into them a long time ago. <laughs> Here's my, uh, this is my personal chest of junk. Mostly minecart track and... Oh, that is junk. That's junky junk. I think I took all the good stuff out once upon a time. Nah. Oh, so the next level is our psychedelic bedroom. Um, Did they add more uh, colors of wool or something around this time, and we wanted to try them out? Yeah. Is that kind of why we did this? Pretty thing? much, the colored wool's been added right now, and uh, 
Because was it kind of the point of this tower in a way? We wanted to have each level would be the different materials that were in the game. So this was like sandstone and wool, and then of course below that was like you know wood and I don't know stone and brick and stuff. And and then up here we'll get to that later. But we want like all the different materials to be in the house tower. Yeah, I think you're right because they just added sandstone in a version that we were playing at the time too. So now they have all the cool like. Sandstone, the hieroglyphic one. And did you just put some music on? Oh, you did. Yeah. That's oh, the creepy one I hate. So. Oh. Get some more music. What's the one I like? The white one? The white one. Strahd. So, all these records I got through my uh, uh, record machine on the mob farm. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, I, I, I don't like most of them are creepy. Most of the music is pretty bad, but that one's... I like. So, good view. that big glass contraption over there, it will cover in a later video about uh, its um, automatic minecart retrieval system that uh, I obsessed over for a long time. It works. That's all I'll say. Because it was broken for a while. Yeah, I had a problem with the minecarts falling through the world, but I think now that I've replaced the tracks with like proper detector rail tracks, it uh, they don't fall through anymore. So here's the next level of the um, cactus fort. Basically, we grew trees in the corners, and then we trimmed them, and then we grew trees on trees, basically, to make the next level. And... Uh, before there was the big jungle trees. I guess that would have been kind of cool up here. I think we all had planned something else for this, but it's just kind of another level of the vista to see things. It's all for looks. But you did put the portal here, so at least there's a little... There's some functionality. Yeah. We have a nether portal network, so we can fast travel between places. Which is... Cool. Did uh, you show the boardwalk here? You gotta. No, I'm going up to the boardwalk now. I, I don't now. like walking along this boardwalk. It's, it's a nice little. You do like a little jog around here. Yeah. Break a sweat doing but, uh, laps around here. How come the fence is gone in this one spot? I kind of removed this because of you know what down there. Oh, which will yeah something down there. It, is it a heart? Yeah. Is it for your girlfriend? <laughs> it's for somebody <laughs> I like, you know. Oh. I won't say who, but... Sucking up. Uh, oh, also, the, the benches here I thought were kind of a good touch. Because, you know, if you just want to sit here and enjoy the view, which... yeah. I the love so. seat. Ooh. Uh, <clears throat> jump off here. <laughs> 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 All right, um... Well, this is where we are, and uh, let me just check where we are in the video. Well, thank you for watching our server tour. We'll be back again to show you more of our creations. Please wait and subscribe, and we do appreciate it. Also, I have a Let's Play happening of, a, of some mods using the Technic Pack uh, version 6. So if this is your thing, please uh, check out my channel, and have a good day. Bye-bye.